Card number two, terrorist nuke. To me, this card, well, to everyone, this card is the most shocking of all when you understand that this game was invented in 1990, published in 1995 on store shelves in 1995, because of the fact this game did not hit stores until 1995. How did Steve Jackson know that the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center were going to be attacked? Because there's a card in the game. In fact, this card actually shows the World Trade Center attack in intricate detail. This card actually depicts several facts of 9-11 of on cards created back in 1990. The card actually shows that one tower was going to be struck first. And the picture on the card shows the moments between the first tower strike and the second. The card accurately shows the very floors that the first plane slammed into near the top of the Twin Towers. How in the world could Steve Jackson know the very floors that were to be hit? The card even shows the Illuminati symbol on the building in the extreme left of the World Trade Center, the Illuminati Pyramid with the all-seeing eye in the middle. The caption on the top even IDs the perpetrators of the attack. Because on top of the card, and each card has a name, this one's called the nuke attack. The word terrorists are identified as the perpetrators of this attack. Remember, again, this game was it invented in 1990, 11 years before 9-11 occurred. Card number three, the Pentagon. When you see this card after seeing the Twin Tower picture, it's total shock also. Unless you have advanced knowledge of the Illuminati plan, there is absolutely no way on earth that they would have been able to create pictures in 1990 that would show the 9-11 events. The Pentagon is shown on fire. We know that a plane allegedly flew into the section of the Pentagon and nearly burned that section completely. I can tell you, I've done show after show on 9-11. That was not an aircraft that went into the Pentagon. It was a missile. Now, the rest of the Pentagon is undamaged in the picture on the card. Just as it was on September 11, 2001. It was business as usual in the rest of the building. The card shows a fire burning mightily in the center courtyard of the Pentagon, but the rest of the building looks undamaged enough so that the rest of the building could function. So these two cards literally show both of the strikes of 9-11 against the Twin Towers first and then against the Pentagon. This kind of accuracy, 11 years before the attacks, is possible only if the inventor knows the Illuminati plan. Card number four, population control, it's called. Even though the heading on this card says population reduction, the scene depicted shows clearly the Twin Towers under attack with the Twin Towers under attack and the, and the bottoms of them hidden by black smoke. The New York Empire State Building is again the tallest building in the city. You also notice the smoke is shaped in the form of a demon's face. Highly significant for a lot of reasons. Because there is a picture that was taken as the twin towers were smoldering and someone 
airbrushed a demon face into the smoke. That's what it was. I know you can recall that instance because it is an indelibly etched upon people's minds and repeated endlessly so that it would stay there. Most people were discounting the face as purely coincidental. A couple of formal, former Satanists said that those faces looked like the exact demons they had seen during a ritual when demons physically manifest themselves in this dimension. Cisco Wheeler's name of uh, one of the former Satanists, he said that some of the most powerful demons in Satan's kingdom were known as fire demons. It was to these demons that the ancient peoples sacrificed their children to Moloch, the fire god. This was a fire ritual sacrifice carried out by the Illuminati with Baphomet airbrushed into the smoke. This attack on the Twin Towers was a perfect sat satanic fire sacrifice posted all over the internet that showed a demon's face in the fire high up in the Twin Towers. This was not a coincidental phenomenon. The fact is this card shows a demon face in the smoke of the Twin Towers in 1995 tells you that the Illuminati planned to make the Twin Towers a fire sacrifice that would call up fire demons. This card predicted it. Just as Waco and Oklahoma City were fire sacri sacrifices. So was the attack on the Twin Towers. This card also shows a symbolic connection between the attack on the towers in New York City with the global plan of the Illuminati to affect a dramatic change in population. What possible connection could there be? This card may be telling us that the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center, Twin Towers, is the opening blow in the campaign to dramatically reduce global population. We already know that the 9-11 attack was the opening blow to begin the final stage to allow the Antichrist to appear on the world scene as he strides out of the smoke and dust and debris of World War III to claim his prize. Now this card seems to be telling us that the attack on the Twin Towers is the opening salvo in that final stage of population reduction since the goal is to dramatically reduce population on this earth by four billion by war by famine plagues 